What's up guys? So we have a customer here who has twin 275 Rados and yes they are 275s right here you can see it and um, they were flashed years ago to 300s which actually make about 285 290 horsepower um, but to kind of give you guys a short resume of what's going on both engines started having issues starting um, he said he would put them in gear and the motors would go so we came here started doing diagnosis we changed a few things on the motors map sensor right here as you can see it's completely loose um because the first thing we noticed that the uh, plugs were completely fouled um trying to see if i have a plug out to show you but i don't here um but the plugs were completely fouled there are no plugs in the motor and i suspected these 275s are known when you flash them they're known for skipping time so i'm going to show you guys a quick video on how to put it back in time without taking off the power head everyone yes everyone's going to recommend you take off the power head yes it's going to be easier but it's also uh labor expensive when you can do it this way and still do it the same way um and it, it's just the exact same thing so in order to do this you got to take the valve cover off so you have just to kind of show you you got to take all these sensors off you got to take your injectors off you have three eight millimeter uh ground bolts right here there's one there there's one right here and there's a third one right here once you take all that off you have three clips here as well these plastic clips these come off and this whole entire harness is just going to lay on the floor or not on the floor but just hang down off the motor um you're going to have to take the uh, ecm box off completely just there's again on this one is broken so you really can't see it but there's one you have two and then you have one behind it those three bolts is what holds the whole entire cover plate once you have it off okay right behind it literally right behind it right here there's a the the chain tensioner which i'm going to show you i'm going to stop this video take everything off and show you the other thing is when you have the valve cover off if you're doing it with the oil in the engine do not do it while the engine is completely trimmed down because you will have oil everywhere on the floor um trim the engine if you see here i'm trimming you're going to trim the engine about this angle right here um and if you could do it even higher it's even better you will have no oil no mess nothing and uh it's very straightforward it's pretty simple i know it's a scary job but hopefully you guys can fix your problem put your engine back in the time if it skipped and uh get back on the water okay so you can see your fuel rail here with your injectors you're basically going to take it off of there and you're just going to lean it to one side your harness comes off of here and it just sits here and then your whole entire uh fuse box whatever you want to call it is right here you have these two bolts that's your your tensioner for your chain right there okay and then you have all your bolts around your valve cover we're going to take the last bolt right there on the valve cover okay. once that last bolt comes off then you just lift your valve cover off so you guys can see the valve cover is completely off um, if you lift the engine as you guys can see very very little oil drip there's almost nothing um, and that's it I'll show you guys the rest in a second all right guys so I'm gonna show you guys something real quick with timing if you have a Verado 275 to 300 and you change the ECM on it or you modify it somehow if you look at the flywheel here this is how you align your timing this arrow right here with this marking on the flywheel and then you have to take your valve cover off to get to your valve cover you have a bunch of little eight millimeter screws all the way around as you can see uh, make sure you remove all your spark plugs so it's easier to turn your motor to put it here and then the main thing you're going to look at is if if you look at these markings right here these have to line up 
Okay, this right here tells me that this motor skipped two teeth or about three teeth on on the cam right here. So if you guys can see that. So the the symptom that this motor is having right now, it's it's not idling at all. Um, we replaced the map sensor up here. It didn't fix the problems. And then we noticed that the spark plugs were fouled. So we started looking around. Well, in a lot of places, you're gonna have to remove the power head in order to get to the timing, in order to adjust the timing. Here you have, you can, it's, it's your uh, tensioner for your chain. You can take, you gotta take your ECM housing cover off you got to release all your injectors, your fuel fuel rail completely off. Once you do, you have two 8mm or 5.16 bolts right here. And just when you take it off, make sure you do it slow. Because that has a spring and it's got tension on it. And it will shoot out of there. And that can actually even break the, the plastic uh, cover. So I'm going to go ahead and take that apart. Show you. I'm going to put it back into time. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the motor and show you guys... Uh, the motor running uh, our port motors doing the exact same thing so I'm actually going to show you how port motors running and starboard is running the exact same way and then obviously I'm going to do the same thing to, to port so I'll be right back all right guys so here is the tension I was telling you okay and if you can see the two notches there hold on I'm going to get up here to show you. So if I get up here. If I get up here. You guys can see. That these. Now line up. See those. Once those line up. Right behind the thing. is Right, right here is your tensioner. And that's it. Okay, once you finish your timing, which I already explained, I did that one, I just finished this one. Once you finish your timing and you put everything back together, um, you have your water running to it. You're gonna start it. 